Welcome back to the Tool Crib. Today we are going to be talking screwdrivers and in particular we're going to be talking about these new combo tip screwdrivers that I picked up from Klein Tools. Now there are several different manufacturers that make these types of screwdriver tips. Uh, Milwaukee calls theirs the ECX. I saw some from Ideal. I know that Doyle has them at Harbor Freight. I'm sure that Greenlee probably has them. There's several different manufacturers that carry these types of tips now. And they've been out for several years. I wish I'd known about them sooner, especially when I was putting my shop together, running all the electrical in here, because these would have come in extremely handy. So on the back of modern day uh, electrical fittings, like this outlet or uh, this receptacle end for an extension cord, and uh, this coupler for EMT, you'll notice that on the screws they have what is a multi-bit or multi-driver fastener. So the first option that you can use is the properly sized flat driver, which these are notoriously bad. They work, but they're notoriously bad for slipping out. The next best option is to use a high quality number two Phillips which this will accept as well. But when you get an older Phillips or one that's seen some wear on it, these can have the tendency to cam out where you can either damage the screwdriver or damage the screw itself. The next best option is to use Robertson. This is a number one. Uh, this will accept Robertson bits as well. And these are a lot better and you'll find Robinsons in, in electrical uh, applications all the time. But you can see that when I was doing my shop, uh, I use this exclusively, and there was a couple of times that I actually started around the tip over. So even with this screwdriver, which is better suited than these other two, it still has the problem of camming out. And that's where these new screwdrivers come into play. Now, there is one exception. You'll notice that these have the Robertson uh, tilted on 45 degrees, where if we look at this circuit breaker, this one has the Robertson in there square with the flat uh, driver so i don't know if they make that screwdriver i assume that they do and probably will be hunting for that screwdriver next but now we're going to take a look at the better option for these so let me get this package open these are the klein combo drivers this is a number one and number two combo driver and what you'll notice about these is that let's we'll see if we can get this focused in with enough light here is that they have both the robertson tip and the flat tip but unlike what you'll find with the ecx the ecx comes out where the th this one the robertson protrudes past the flat slightly over what the ecx does which comes out directly in line and the reason that that's good and reason that i like this a little better is the fact that the robertson that's in here in these combo uh screws is recessed deeper and so this just fits so much better and this does not have the problem of camming out so it, it both grabs in that robertson and has the flat driver to help it from prevent it from camming out this is a wonderful screwdriver i wish i'd have known about these earlier they just work so incredibly well and when I was putting my shop together, then these would have come in extremely handy because I ran a lot of EMT, put in a lot of receptacles, a lot of circuit breakers, all kinds of stuff that these would have worked out better. And I would have prevented rounding over my uh, Robinson tips on, on my uh, insulated driver, which that's a little expensive to replace, but I'm going to have to do it. So these are the new... Uh, combo tips from Klein and again I said I'll, I'll put uh, some of the other manufacturers uh, links to their products in the description box below so that you can check them out as well uh, this is a fantastic screwdriver and obviously I've been using the wrong screwdriver for a little while now but no longer my name is Ben you've been watching the Texas Tool Crib I appreciate you watching I'll see you in the next one